Welcome back to my channel, Jamie Fern Colors. Um, I am Jamie, and today I have a little story for you, a little book for you, a couple books. Um, so when I first started coloring about a mm, year and a half, two years ago, um, I bought some Joanna Basford books, and then this was one of the first books that I saw. That was a hardbound, uh, fancy book from another country. I don't know, it was just very intriguing to me and I thought it was beautiful. And um, so I found, I don't even remember where I found it, but it was expensive. I mean, by what I pay now for different books, like it's fine. But at the time for it being like just getting started in this and it was it was a pricey book and but I decided that I just kept coming back to it and I wanted to have a pretty book and so I went ahead and bought this book and I got it and I I didn't know I don't know if I knew what to do with it I didn't know what to do with it and um, I started a couple of pictures in here and I didn't like them I didn't like them and I, I got a little bit discouraged and I just and so I never finished them I think if I just go finish them they would be fine but I don't know I just like there's nothing wrong with this page but I would never finish it and I don't know exactly why <laughs> and let's see there's another one in here that's the same story like I started it and then I wasn't sure and I didn't know what I was doing and I felt, I think I was overwhelmed by how much I paid for the book and I didn't want to mess it up. Which is silly because now they're just unfinished pictures. Sorry about that, I had to move the cord. Okay. So really I should just go and finish them and let it be okay. So then this last year she came out with another book Tenderful Enchantments and this one you could get on Amazon so I didn't have to pay horrendous shipping and I kept looking at it and I kept seeing what other people were doing with it and I thought this one is even prettier than the first book and maybe I should order this one but I kept thinking I'm not using this one I don't I, I thought I'd like it more than I did and so I kept putting it off and putting it off and putting it off and then I said okay I kept coming back to it and I said okay I will only order this book if I can finish a couple of pictures in this book. If I can do a couple of pictures in this book and like the way they turned out, then you can reward yourself <laughs> by getting the other book. <laughs> Silly. Okay, so I went ahead and colored a couple more pictures in this book that I did in fact finish. You find them so I can show them to you. Yes, so this was the first one. Which I think I love. I think it turned out beautiful. Um, I used Tombow markers and Prismacolor pencils and some Posca paint pens and some acrylic paint for the background. And then I did the same with this picture. I did um, Tombow markers, Prisma pencils, acrylic paint for the background, and Posca paint pen for the little dots. And I thought that turned out beautiful as well. So now I need to go back and finish these couple and um, kind of forgive myself for it and keep going in this book. Because it is a pretty book. It does have beautiful illustrations. Sometimes I think the fairies are a little strange. Um, but it's a pretty book. It has good paper. So, but I just haven't done much with it. I love how it's one-sided. I don't know, some of these fairies, I'm like, what? But I just need to color them. This one's cute. Ooh. Oh, there's another one that I started and didn't finish. 
And I don't start very many pictures and not finish them. I have a tendency of finishing a picture before I move on to another picture. And so for there to be so many unfinished pictures in this book, it's just odd for me. So anyways, that's her first book and my story with it. So I did finish my allotted pictures in this book and gave myself permission. This picture is funny. I always thought this was the lady's dress and it's a mushroom, like she's behind the mushroom. So I think that's funny. Anyways, so. I do plan on coloring more of these, getting them finished. So I think sometimes we buy books and then we we feel like we, we don't want to mess them up. And I don't think we need to worry about messing them up. I need to go back and finish those pictures. There's nothing wrong with them. I just need to finish them. So I did give myself permission and I did go ahead and order this one. haven't done anything in it yet. It comes with a little bookmark because um, I wanted to show you a flip through. I know there's other flip throughs on there on YouTube, but I just wanted to do one before I colored in it. I'll go frontwards this time. I, my dad and I both read magazines backwards. I don't know. We just like to go from the back of the book to the front of the book. So, so I'll go forwards this time. Um, I think this book, I like the pictures in this book better than the other one. I think she's kind of stepped it up even more and they're beautiful, beautiful paper, one-sided pictures. So we will have to color in this one, put it in the rotation, get some pictures cranked out in it. It is cute. This one's way cute. There's a dog. Oh, it looks like we're coming up on a double page spread. So I do love this book. I think it is, I like the pictures in it a lot better than the first one. The paper is beautiful. I, I'm excited about it, and uh, I'm glad I, I am glad that I purchased it. I'm also glad I forced myself to finish some in the other book before I ordered this one because it showed me that I can finish some of her pictures. That I do like it. You know that they can turn out. So 
So if you have a book like that in your life that you thought this was going to be such a great book and then you got it and for whatever reason just didn't color in it, didn't give it another chance. Go back and pick it up again and, you know, say I'm going to color a picture in here and finish a picture before I can order another one or whatever to see, you know, see if you can finish it and like it. It's like a turnip head. <laughs> I don't know, maybe tomato? I don't know, something growing on her head. Turnip head, wasn't that in a house floating castle? Okay, this one's cute. And then these, she has them in the back of both books, are like doors for previous pictures. And that is the flip through. So that is the flip through of both of these books by Clara Markova. This is Magical Delights and then Tenderful Enchantments. And uh, my confession <laughs> about Clara Markova. So I am giving this book another chance. I am excited about this book. Um, we'll have to color in both of them and I'll have to do more in them as well on my own. So the, I, they are, they're beautiful books. They are, they're beautiful books to have. I love the hardbound books. I don't know, I just, something so nice about them. Those and the Hannah Carlson ones, I just, I just love them. So um, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you have a good week and find some time to color and relax, de-stress. You have some time to yourself. I know I am going to try and do that as well. And um, like, subscribe, share, whatever, all those things that YouTube likes you to do to get my videos out there so other people can join in our fun. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!